Hello and welcome to this spreadsheet for ship squat calculation developed by the NavalArc.com. This is an Excel spreadsheet which can be used to calculate the squat of the vessel as it moves in shallow water or in a confined region of limited width. Squat is the combined sinkage and trim of a vessel as it moves into a confined zone of limited depth or limited width or both. As a ship moves into such a region, the speed of the flow of water around the ship increases. This increase in speed as per Bernoulli equation leads to a pressure drop, and it is this pressure drop which causes the sinkage and trim. This combined effect of sinkage and trim is called squat. Calculation of squat is very important in shallower waters, because it reduces the available under keel clearance of the vessel, and it becomes all the more important at ports, where the available depth is less, and the navigation of the vessel becomes sluggish. This spreadsheet provides two different methods of calculating squat. The first one is the DNV method which is based on the DNV RPH 103. The DNV formula is applicable only when the ship is moving in shallow water but the width of the channel available is unlimited, that is, the open ocean. The second formula is the Barris formula, which can be used both for open water case and also for movement in, in a channel of limited width. Let's see one by one both the methods for calculation of squat. The first method is the DNV method which is for open water only. First the inputs, there are some general inputs like the acceleration due to gravity, the water density. The vessel parameters like the length, breadth, draft, displacement, and speed of the vessel are the next inputs. Next are the environmental parameters like the speed of the current, the water depth, and the required under keel clearance. From these input values, the spreadsheet calculates the block coefficient relative velocity, the fruit number and the maximum squat. From this maximum squat, it calculates the actual under keel clearance due to squat and compares it against the required under keel clearance. There is another feature offered here, by which the user can find out the maximum speed at which the required under keel clearance can be achieved. To do this, the user just needs to press on the calculate button, which will calculate the maximum speed depending on the inputs provided. The required under keel clearance currently is 2 meters. Let's say we change it to 1.5 meters and recalculate the maximum speed at which we can achieve this required UKC. We click the button calculate, and we can see that the new maximum speed is 10 knots. Similarly we can change the required keel clearance to 2.5 meters and now the maximum speed comes down to 5.4. Another feature of this spreadsheet is that you can generate a speed to UKC curve. Basically it varies the speed from zero to the maximum value, and it calculates the under keel clearance for all these values to generate the curve. To generate this curve we just need to click the button generate curve and it will generate the curve for the case at hand. To remove this curve, we just need to click the remove button. To generate it again, we just need to click generate curve. Now let's go to the next method which is the Barris method. Barris method is applicable both for open water and in a channel. In this method the inputs are same except that some additional environmental parameters are required. One input is the environment type which can be either open water or it can be a channel. So if the environment type channel is selected, then the width of the channel has to be specified by user. If open water is selected, then the width need not be specified by the user, but the width of influence will be calculated by the spreadsheet. Once these inputs are provided, in a similar fashion, the maximum squat is calculated, and based on that the actual under keel clearance due to squat is also calculated. Similar to the DNV spreadsheet, this spreadsheet also has the feature of calculating the maximum speed which can be achieved for the required under keel clearance, and also to generate the speed's under keel clearance curve. That was about the spreadsheet for squat calculation. This spreadsheet can be very useful in marine operations to predict the squat and under keel clearance when the ship is moving in shallow waters or confined channels, and also to know the maximum speed possible in such conditions. To download the spreadsheet please visit the navelarc.com and please provide us your valuable feedback. Thank you.